The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. There's Nara and Junior and Melanie and Zariah and Maddox and Anton and Natalia and Royalty and Amia and Ellie and Kylan and Leilani and London. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, boys and girls, we are going to play a game today. Are you ready to play a game with me? All right. This game is called Mimic Mime. A mime is a person who likes to copy and make motions with their body, but they can't talk. Yeah, they just have to make the motions with their body and act out or pretend what they are doing. So we're gonna play that game today. I'm going to do some motions, and I want you to copy my motions. And then we're going to guess what we're acting out. Are you ready to play? All right, here's the first one. Did you act that out with me? What were we pretending to do? That's right. We brushed our teeth. I put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. I brushed my teeth. I spit the soap out or the toothpaste out. I took my drink, swished it around and spit it out. Good job. All right, let's do another one. Are you ready? What are we acting out? Did you copy me? What were we pretending to do? That's right, we were eating a sandwich. It was a good sandwich too, a really big one. Good job. All right, let's do another one. Are you ready? This one I have to stand up for. Can you act it out with me? Something at the playground, that's right. What could it be? Good job! It was swinging on a swing. All right, this is gonna be our last one today. Make sure you're copying me and trying to do it with me. And there's no talking. Good job, all right.
what did I just act out? Did you try to do it with me? I was washing my hands. Good job. I turned on the water, got them wet, put some soap on them, rinsed them off, got my paper towel, and threw my paper towel away. Good job. That's a fun game to play. That would be a fun game to play when you have to be somewhere where you kind of have to be quiet and you can't make a lot of noise, but you're having to wait because waiting is hard sometimes, isn't it? Good job. All right, we are going to do an ABC activity today that is your homework. It's a matching game. All right, on my table today, I have some ABCs. Some of my alphabet letters are uppercase. Some of them are uppercase letters. And some of my letters are lowercase. They are the little letters. And I'm going to play a matching game today where I have to try to match the big letter, the uppercase letter, to the lowercase letter. Who thinks they can help me? Oh, I have lots of friends who can help me. Good job. All right, do you see any letters that I could match at my on my table? What letters do you think are a match? Somebody says they see a big C and a little C. Big C, little C. K -k -k. Good job. Both big C and little C say k -k cat. All right, let's see what other letters we can match. Try to point to one that you see that's a match. Good job. What letter is this? B, 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 B. Good job. Where is my little B? Where's my little B that matches? Right here. Good job. Big B, little B. B, B, B. B says B. For ball. Good job. All right, what other matches do you see on my table? Ooh, what is this letter? D. Good job. Where is my match for the letter D? No. No. <gasps> yes. Let's put them down here. Big D, little D, 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 D for dog. Good job. All right, that leaves my last match. What letter are my last two letters? A, good job. We've got big A, little A, 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 A. A for apple. Good job helping me match. I could play this game with more letters if that was too easy. I could match lots of letters. I could also make it tricky by not having their colors be the same, couldn't I? If I found some letters that were not matching colors, that might be kind of tricky. I could also make it trickier. if I had lots of them where it was the same letter. So maybe I had lots of A's and lots of B's and I had to sort them. I could do it that way. If this was too hard, you could just do it with A and B or just do it with C and D. So that would be a way to make it easier. I have some other letter matching ideas for you too. All right, my other letter matching idea is having a book. I have one of my books called Off We Go, and I have all my letters here. And I could play a game where I have to match my letters to the letters on my title. 
So I could start off with this letter. What letter is that? Ooh, it's an O. Good job. Does anybody see an O that I could match with? Good job. So I could start with my O. Mm, next, I see an F. Does anybody see my F? I'll give you a clue. It's upside down. Good job. It's right here. I could match my F. Now, I don't have another little F, so maybe I have to use my big F. That's okay, because I know they're both Fs, right? All right, how about my W? Here's my W. Do you see it over here? I'm trying to match my W. Good job. How about my letter E? Oh, he's upside down, isn't he? Do you see him there upside down? Tricky, tricky. If this was really hard to do it with them upside down, I might turn them all over before I started. How about my G? Good job. I could also change it, moms and dads or grown-ups, if I just put the letters my friend is going to need instead of all the letters. That would make it a little easier, too. And my O. Did I match all the letters on my book? I did. That would be another great way to practice matching our letters. I could even practice matching my letters with a bucket of chalk. I could go outside and I could have a grown-up draw me some uppercase letters and draw me some lowercase letters and I could draw a line to match them, couldn't I? Or maybe I jump and I jump on the A's and then I jump on the B's. I could play that way too. I could do it with Play-Doh. I could do it with stickers. So many fun ways to practice my ABCs. Sometimes we like to practice it with just holding up cards, and that's an okay way to practice too, but it is so much more fun to learn with fun games and with playing, and that helps our preschool brains want to keep learning because sometimes if it's not very much fun, we don't want to do it for very long. But if we turn our learning into a game, then we like to learn and we'll learn for so much more time. So grown-ups, that's kind of my sneaky little trick for you today is to make sure you're making your learning at home fun because if it's a game, we're going to want to learn for longer amounts of time. Good job. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a super day practicing your ABCs, and I'll see you tomorrow.